Okay, I'm going to show you how to use the FET simulator. So first go to Google, type in FET gas. Pick the first one that comes up. Click on Run Now. This is a Java, so it's going to download a Java document. I'm going to say Keep. And then I'm going to go and do Open. Now it's starting up. This is a totally safe download. If your computer says, warning, warning, don't worry about it, that is a legit website. Okay, so what do we have here? I'm just going to open this up a little wider. We have a bicycle pump, and when we pump the handle, we introduce gas molecules. You can introduce heavy ones. You can also introduce light ones. You can add heat, and you can see the effect on the gas molecules. You can also remove heat as the heat goes from the water molecules into melting the ice. What are some other things you can do? You can change the force of gravity over here, and um, you can also, well, let's see, under advanced options, you can set the temperature of new incoming particles. Never used that before. And I don't know what happens if you click off molecules collide, other than they go right through each other, maybe? Yeah, molecules colliding is more realistic. Um, and that's basically it. What I want you, oh, sorry, one more big thing, big, big, is that you can do work on the gas. You click on this guy, and you drag him, and I don't know why that's not working right now. Let's try that again. Huh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pause and I'm going to hit reset and then I'm going to try it again and I'm going to hit play here come some gas molecules you should be able to just click on this guy and he should be able to move weird, haven't had this problem before uh, hmm. Oh, I figured out what I did wrong. I clicked on volume here, and I should have said none. Constant parameter means that I am not, if I click volume, it means I'm not letting the volume change. But I do want to allow the volume to change, so there we go. I can do work on the gas, or I can let the work do, the gas do work on me by pushing me back. So using this simulator, you should be able to answer pretty much all the questions that are on that handout. So uh, we'll take a look at it, we'll talk about it tomorrow in class.